FPC gives you the power to be in total control of your drum kit right down to every piece and sample. Let's have a look. FPC has a host of parameters that can hold individual values for each of the 32 pads. Basic parameters such as volume and pan as well as some more advanced parameters such as volume and pan envelopes. Now before we begin to go tweak crazy, we need to be sure that we have selected the correct pad we wish to edit. We've looked at the various ways to select a pad in an earlier video. Here I'm going to select it by name from the pad menu. Let's start at the top. The volume will control the level of the pad. The pan in parameter will control the stereo placement of the pad. The mute button will of course mute the pad. The solo button will of course solo the pad. The scale volume tool allows the volume to be altered based on the velocity from the MIDI note that is triggering the pad. If enabled, the volume will follow the variances in the note's velocity to give a more natural sound. When disabled, the volume of the sample will ignore the note's velocity value and play the same level each time the pad is triggered. Each pad is triggered by a MIDI note. For the most part, the default MIDI note values of each pad will be fine. However, in some cases, you may wish to remap the MIDI notes to a different one. That is done from the MIDI note section. To assign a note, simply click on the MIDI note value. A pop-up menu will appear showing all MIDI notes. You may also notice that each note has a name next to it. By default, FPC will show you the general MIDI drum map in case you want to conform to the general MIDI standard. If you do not wish to view these names, you can simply deselect Show General MIDI Names. The next time you select a MIDI note, the names will no longer be visible. Next, select the note you wish to assign to the selected pad. In some situations, you may not know which note you wish to assign. For example, if you have a drum pad controller, and if you are like me, have not memorized the default note mapping for each pad, you can use the learn function to learn which note you wish to map. To do this, click on the note to bring up the mapping menu. Click on the learn option, then play a note from your controller or drum pad. FPC will automatically map that pad to that note. The cut and cut by functions are used if you wish to have a pad stop when another specific pad is played. The best example is hi-hats. Often a closed hi-hat and an open hi-hat will be mapped to the respective pads. However, in the real world, a drummer cannot play a closed hat at the same time as playing an open hat. So if I am to play an open hat followed by a closed hat, the open hat sample will cease to play as soon as I hit the closed hat pad. To demonstrate how to set this up, I'm going to take a crash cymbal and have it stop playing as soon as I hit my closed hats. This would not be natural with real drummers, however, it will demonstrate how to use the cut options. First on my closed hats, you'll see that it is assigned to cut zero. This means that any pad that has the cut by option set to zero will stop playing as soon as the closed hat is played. So let's select the crash symbol and set its cut by to zero. Now when I play the closed hat right after the crash, you can hear how the crash sample ceases after I hit the closed hat. FL Studio, the fastest way from your brain to your speakers.